Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous sessions we have discussed about the functional dependency and different properties of functional dependencies that Armstrong axioms and reference rules, inference rules. <coughs> in this session we will see one more concept that is a types of functional dependencies. Types of functional dependencies. So coming to the first one, so we'll take this uh, table as an example. So a student table with a student ID, student name, age, college and the place. So coming to the first type. So first one is a trivial, trivial functional dependency. So what is meant by this trivial functional dependency? So in the previous session, we have seen about the reflexivity, uh, fun uh, reflexivity property of functional dependency the same will comes under this trivial that means if a tends to b is a functionally dependent then b is subset if b is subset of a then we call it as a trivial functional dependent Okay, so that means the dependent should be a subset of determinants. So here A and B are the determinant and the dependent. So A can be having a multiple attributes and B can have a multiple attributes. So whatever the attributes are there in B should be a subset of A. So such type of functional dependency is a trivial functional dependency. So in this example, consider here. So trivial for trivial you can observe so the combination of s id and s name can give s id right so with the help of s id and s name we can get s id as a attribute so this is a self we can simply use this one okay so s name tends to s name is a self okay self functionally dependent because here these are called as a determinants and this is a dependent so by if you are having the SID along with the name, we can have the SID. So which is nothing but a subset of this one, which is nothing but a subset of this particular determinant. So such type of dependency, we call it as a trivial functional dependency, trivial functional dependent. So the second one is a non-trivial non-trivial functional dependent so quite opposite to this trivial so a tends to b is the functionality dependent if b is not a subset not a subset of a that means whatever the dependents we are having those should be not a subset of determinants okay so such type of uh, functional dependency we call it as a non-trivial functional dependency so here coming with the example coming to this non-trivial so here you can get SID comma yes name can get age so age is functionally dependent on the combination of SID and S name so you can observe here SID and S name 101 Sandeep gives a 25 102 Saradi 24, 103 Sarfik 25 and 104 Saradi 23. That means there is no redundancy here. Okay. And we can get a age also. Age. Or simply you can give age and college. Age and college. Right. So like this we can uh, give which are not a subset of the de determinants. The uh, dependence should not be subset of determinants. Right. So dependent set should not be subset of determinant so this is clear this is clear so on the left hand side which is a determinant on the right hand side is a dependent right so this type of we call it as a non trivial functional dependency and the third one
मल्टीवैल्यूड डिपेंडेंसी मल्टीवैल्यूड फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी सो हियर ए टेंस टू बी सी इज फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंट देन बी एंड सी should not be dependent should not be dependent that means either b tends to c or c tends to b should not be functionally dependent so then such type of thing we call it as a multi valued functional dependency such type of values we call it as a multi valued dependency right so here multi value so simply here we can give s id with the s name comma age so if if it is a so you can observe this is a functional dependency because with the help of s id we can get both the s name and age so there is no repetition simply we can get it now what we have to check means whether this functional dependency is a multi valued or not that means so there should not be relation in between the dependents so no relation between dependents dependents so here the dependent set is s name and s age so consider s name tends to age or age tends to s name so these both are should not be dependent for first come to s name and age so sandeep it's a 25 and uh, sarada is 24 and you can observe these two two pools okay so we have seen the definition of functional dependency so if you want to check for the functional dependency first we need to consider two two pools randomly so that if if two two pools are having the same x value that uh, the, the same two pool should have the corresponding y values also same right so here we are having the same x value sarada so s name it's a sarada but a different age 24 23 different age so this is not functionally dependent coming to the reverse process age tends to s name so 25 here sandeep and 25 here satvik so this is also not possible so this is not a functionally dependent so that implies this particular functional dependency is multi valued functional dependency is a multi valued functional dependency right so hope you understood this one so one thing if a tends to b c is a functionally dependent then b and c should be dependent should not be dependent so should not be dependent right so that means b tends to c or c tends to b both should not be functionally dependent so here we have taken the example and we have traced it right next one the fourth and the last one is a transitive functionally dependent so now also we have already observed in the axiom property that is a transitivity rule right so the same thing here so the fourth one transitive functional dependency so a tends to b is a functionally dependent and b tends to c is also functionally dependent then a tends to c is functionally dependent so if a tends to b is functionally dependent and if b tends to c is functionally dependent similarly similarly so from these two functionally dependencies we can derive a tends to c as a functional dependency so this is a type of uh, situation we call it as a transitive functional dependencies so coming to the transitive transitive so here we can get sid tends to college and college tends to place so simply we can say sid tends to place so let us check it let us check it first sid tends to college we we have to check whether it is a functionally dependent or not so sid and college so 101 102 103 104 104 so there is no repetition so this is empty and coming to the college and place 
college and place so i think uh, yeah you can observe here also there is no repetition okay so bc vrc cc lbrc pvpa sit so that means we are having a unique values different values there is no repetition right so you can observe here we for vrc vrc college it's a place is vijayawada and pvp sit is college place is vijayawada but we have to compare only if the x values are equal then we have to go with the y values but he, here the x values are not equal so you need not bother about the y values so this is also in a functionally dependent so what we have to do in the transitive functional dependency this implies sid determines the place that means if you have the student number we can say he is studying in which place so if you go with the sid 101 bapatla 102 it's a vijayawada 103 mailavaram 104 it's a vijayawada so here also the x values are different so we need not bother about the y values so this is the transitivity functional dependency transitive functional dependencies right so this is how uh, these are the different types of functional dependencies available so once again i'll write the concept okay these are the examples so that you will be understanding clearly the first one trivial trivial non trivial multi valued and transitive transitive so these are the different types of functional dependencies and once again i am repeating so these are the base for the normalization because if you understand clearly about these functional dependencies that means what the functional dependency and what is the properties and the rules of functional dependencies and what are the different types of functional dependencies then it would be very easy to understand the normalization process right so if you are not aware about the uh, functional dependency and the properties of functional dependency i will post the playlist complete dvms play playlist uh, link in the description section so just to go through those two concepts while moving on towards normalization so the, sorry the three videos functional dependencies properties and types of functional dependencies so you just go through all these three so that the normalization process which we are going to uh, explain in the next sessions will be easily understandable right so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding these types of functional dependencies feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much